time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Friday, April 19th. Hope everybody's surviving. That little last little down move hurt. That hurt me. Um, I was I was holding my head above water until that. Now I'm red. Uh SP down 50, NASDAQ down 380, Russell down 10, Dow is green. Gold and silver, both green. Notes and bonds, green. 10-year yield down about 0.69%. Oil, slightly green. Natural gas, slightly red. Grains, all green. Euro in the pound, euro green, pound red. Bitcoin up 1%. VIX up 6.5% above 19. I've got uh, in my one account, so the, they... Those show closed, but those actually ended up being slightly <clears throat> profitable. I manually entered, and then my bots fired, so I closed my manual entries. But uh, I just disengaged the bot and manually entered. And then 3-2 uh, stopped out for a profit. 1-1 one one stopped out for a profit. I had 1-2-3 quiet tranches fire. All three hit 35%. There's a 3-2 that got stopped for a profit, a 1-1 one one that got stopped for a profit, a full, full loss on a 1-1, one one, full loss on a 3-2, full loss on a 1-1. One one. My 1-DTE in this account is still, actually in both, both still hanging on. This one's about even. I've got a 3-2, and I've got a my 1-DTE quad 40 just fired, and I've got a Wooga. And then in my challenge portfolio, had a one to one stop for a profit, three two stop for a profit. Uh, that was a little misfire scratch. Three two stop for a profit, full stop on a three two, stop for a profit on a one one, stop for a profit on a three two, stop for a profit on a three two, full loss on a three two and one one. Stop for a profit on a 3-2. That was a little mistake, misfire. Stop for a profit or stop full loss on 3-2. And then got my 1DT in this one that's down 23%. And I've still got a 1-1 one one and a 3-2 on. A lot. Did I, I did one price action trade, hit 20%, got stopped. Uh, my JSPs got stopped. So I am... Down about four thousand one account, and then my let's see, my uh, challenge portfolio is down about six percent total. So for me, can you hear me? Yep. Uh, kind of a tale of two accounts here. My my main TLC account, I'm plus three hundred ninety dollars, and I've closed everything out, even the even the puts, because I closed them for a dollar my last trade but my first one was um a uh am number one stopped out minus 2150 then my am number two 2040 60 percent winner and then my last contract was stopped uh sold some puts there sold the calls plus 29.40 and then my lunchtime number one um, was a uh, full stop and was able to sell the calls for 30 cents and the puts for a dollar. And thought about holding the puts longer, but I thought, man, a dollar is pretty good. 
and uh, it put me at about break even for the day. So, but in my second account, three TLCs, three winners. Uh, currently, out of everything, up four grand. And the difference is, is the my second and third one, I skewed them, skewed them to one side. So, if my my when my number one got off to the downside, off centered. I skewed my second one a little bit right of center. That makes sense. So when we got more down movement, it pushed it right into center. Um, then it would chop around more and I was able to book profits doing it that way rather than centering one when my, because I just felt like with the price movement the way it was, was, you know, it, it's kind of been drifting downward most of the day. Hour, hour, my tranche one down move just fired. Tranche one down so, day. Uh, I'm on the 55 put, 75 calls. Filled at 11.45. Nice, nutty dog. I'll take a look at that. I see one thing just off right off the bat, Naughty Dog, is I always add two hits to the profit target. That always makes it a little bit more realistic. Let's see, I'm looking at the for my power hour, I'm looking at the 75s and 50s. I got in the 75, 55s. Sharing a strike with another trade, so it's not that skewed, but. I did take off my Netflix earnings trade from that I put on in Power Hour yesterday for about a $1,600 winner. Netflix currently down 9%. It, it would actually be right on my short strike. Had I held... So I probably left a couple hundred on the table, but... It's fine. NVIDIA down 9%. Ooh. AMD down 6. Chips getting smacked. Meta down 4. Tesla cracking new recent lows. Going into earnings. Bitcoin stocks are up. Regional banks are up. NASDAQ, by far the weakest in the bunch, down 2.2%. S&P down 1%, Russell down a half percent, and Dow is still green. Yeah, I saw that. What's holding up the Dow? What's Boeing doing? I don't know. I don't look. Boeing is not too weak. Some financials probably. JP Morgan's up 2%. Bank of America up 3 Yeah, it must be the banks. Big banks.
Yeah, I like that. I like the smaller stop loss on that one. I'll have to, I'm going to dig into that. I, I like, and I like the 25 wide. I, Meech shared his version that's 25 wide as well, but it still had a bigger loss, stop loss. All right. Is this, is this puppy done going down? I don't, not so sure, sure so. it is. Not so sure about that. All right, today's Friday, so I've got some double calendars to put on. Starting here in about 15 minutes. Close to 30% on one of my three twos. I was looking at my monthly progress as we just reached past the halfway point and already April somehow is my second most profitable month this year. Wow. Yeah, it's already past February and March. Take a lot to pass January. I was thinking cap losses was specific to zero DTE, Eli. I'll have to, I'll have to revisit that though. It's been a while. Just reduced one of my three twos. It's a little state of decay there. See, so the overnight low was about 49.63. So we haven't gotten close to that yet. NASDAQ has. NASDAQ blew through it. Good thing there are no NDX options today, I guess. It's one uh, positive.
All right, so my first double calendar will be a 4757 Ah. Just kind of hoping it would hold here. Doesn't look like it wants to. Looking like it wants some new lows. I'll just be glad if I hit 20% here. She's jumpy. Just did my four seven a little bit early. Spread them out a little bit. Close to 30% on my other three, two, and one, one. Little dip and rip. You get to hold on down here a little bit. Yeah, she's kind of, she's jumpy. She's a jumpy little one today. Boys and I are off to Nebraska right after the live stream. What's that? Boys and I are off to Nebraska after the live stream. Oh. Uh, only weekend with no baseball tournament. We're off this weekend as well. Yeah, so it's be Stone's last second and final time to get some turkey hunting in. And it's shotgun instead of bow and arrow. Probably have them drive the truck around the country roads, do a few driving lessons. Mm -hmm.
All right, so next week. Nothing Monday, Tuesday flash, PMI. 15 minutes after the market opens, new home sales. Wednesday, durable goods pre-market. Thursday, GDP and unemployment pre-market. Pending home sales 30 minutes after the market opens. And then Friday, pre-market core PCE. And then consumer sentiment. And of course, the war concerns. It would be interesting to see what um, the market does with the war stuff here now, because you think back to when Russia invaded Ukraine. I mean, after a month or so, it pretty much forgot about it. Right. You know, be interested to see if it does it with this one too or, or not. Here comes tranche two, it looks like. No, not quite time. Five cents away from 20%. I meant to disable my Wooga bot, so hopefully it doesn't get in the way of my strikes. Ah, it's five cents away. Hashtag nickel away. No, just push through the expected move line. Man. Better slow down here, boy. Tranche two just fired on the 60 puts, 80 calls. So 20 wide. Build at 885. Gosh. A nickel away. Just did my five seven. There we go. Come on, hit me. Hit me with your best shot. Nickel away again. Build. 
Thank you. Reduced one of my three twos. Here's a little conglomerate of what I've got. I've got a 3-2 in there, a Wooga, and Tranche 1 and 2. Posted my six seven, so I've posted four seven five seven six seven so far in the calendar channel. Next up is the three six. Pretty centered on my power hour number one, so don't don't think I'm going to take a power hour number two. Definitely locked in a green day now, too. So, All right, just hang out here. Yep. My one my remaining one one and three two in my challenge portfolio. Just hang out right here as well. My one DTE needs a bounce, but It's barely red.
Eddie Eddie. Charge 3 will be coming here in a few minutes. Tranche 2 is up 20%. Tranche 1 is up 34 Need about 20 cents for no, about 30 cents for 40 percent. So need some down movement or fade to decay or both. Here we go. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. 10 cents away. Reducing stop on tranche two. Got to 40%. Or tranche one. <laughs> Come on. Ten cents away. There we go. Forty percent of power hour number one. Nice. Supposed to do my three six double calendar. Next on the double calendar list is the four five here in a little bit. <laughs> You're just gonna have to stay naked, Dick K. Okay? Tranche three is on the 60s and 75s, 15 wide, filled at 835. Nope, Anil, 40% uh, is correct. Tranche two is on the 60, 80s, Krish. Sitting dead center still on my power hour, so just gonna roll with it today. I have a real nice green day in my second account and uh decent one in my main account. Brothers gonna be happy about that? Does he know yet? Not yet. Do you tell him text every day? Me. He texted how much money you made? Me. No, he texted me this morning, said, How are we looking? I'm like, roller coaster as usual. Then he looks at the account at the end of the month and he's like, Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, so this week it'll be um if I add. Let me see here for his account. 
I'm up about I got I'm about sixty one hundred now with five contracts left in that trade for him. So about twelve thousand five hundred this week for him. Nice. I'm looking at a pretty darn good week myself. Twenty two trades. Right now, I'm sitting at a little over 18,000 for the week without not counting this power hour trade I'm in. Nice. Now, 12 of that. Let's see, when was that? 12 of that was a mistake? No. <laughs> uh, on Monday, I had 12,000 I made. It was the, the AM number one made 5,600 on that big flush with the longs. So, yeah, you, typically not booking a $5,600 trade winner. You know, that nice. went from a losing trade to a nice big winner. So, that definitely aided in it. Thirty minutes to go. The at the money fly is trading for seventy cents, seventy five cents. Chris, you feeling all right, man? You're saying you're saying some weird stuff today. What do you mean? That's that's normal. Oh, okay. That's that. Uh, Touche. <laughs> oh yeah, I can joke around with the best of them. Sometimes people don't always take what I say as a joke, though. It gets me in hot water. We live in a very sensitive society these days, Chad. Yeah, we do. You got to be careful. I'm a very direct person. As I'm sure members have realized. No, no, no. I, I don't offend easily, no. Tranche 2 is getting close to my 40%. Move that down to three. Moving my stop on tranche two down. So tranche one and tranche two stops moved down and locked in. Tranche three is up about 14%. 
Wuga is up about 8%. It's got to be pretty centered, doesn't it? Let's see. Le Wuga. Let's see, is this it? No. I'm sharing. I'm sharing too many strikes. I don't know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe this is it. Oh, wait. Here it is. 40, 50, 60, 70. Yeah, that's it. Now it's in the it. upper break even area. I'm about ready to hit 60%. There it is. What a great day for volatility. I got one contract left. Sitting dead center. Trying to get in the four or five double diagonal for about 50 cent credit. No fill. Job alley, 60% now. A little bit 40 cents on my four or five. Tranche three at 29 percent. Need a little bit more to reduce my stop on that one. A little down move. Getting a little downy. That's because Wuga said he needed some down movement. <clears throat> Wuga did need a down move. Wuga's now at 31%. Wow, nice. Approaching new lows of day. Let's not get crazy here. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's why I didn't put another one on, though. I just had...
Didn't Let's want. not get all fancy. Did not want to hit. A max loss on oh, green. Right back up. Right back up. Close to 80%. Need about, well, I guess I need about 50 cents. But I'm sitting pretty centered. All right, all calendars posted. Got my stop reduce on tranche one and two, but not three yet. Three needs a little bounce. Bounce and hold. Ugo's up 36%. My quad 40 is up 3%. Got a 3-2 that's currently up 55%. My 1DTE is up 6% in one account. In my challenge portfolio, it's down. Hold on. Hold up, little buddy. Don't go anywhere. No need to go to anywhere. Come on, Theta.
New lows. Hang on. Yeah, Wuga's getting close, but need to hang on. Freeze. Yep. At about seven minutes until MOC. And I my last contract got stopped out at 310. Darn it. That was my last contract. At the money butterfly trading for about a buck. All right. Twenty six twenty five today. In one account and Too over. Shabby. Let's see. Nope, twenty six, twenty five in one account, and sixty three hundred in another. Pretty solid for a day like this, I'd yeah. say. For the week, twenty two trades, thirteen winners, nine losers, plus twenty thousand three hundred twenty dollars. Nice. Hold your head up. Still haven't reduced my stop on tranche three yet. Need a little bounce for that to happen. That was my best week since the week of January 22nd. Wow.
currently sitting at $40,485 for April. A little over 40K. And March was 29K. February was 24K. Feels kind of good to be out of everything and not have to sit through the drama of the last 10 minutes. Let's see what just hit. One of my three twos is filled. MOC in a little over a minute. Oh, tranche three is ready to be reduced. Hour hour leading the way for me again this <clears throat> this week. Six winners, two losers. The eighty-five percent profit target on my one-to-ones at one fifteen. Currently trading at a buck twenty-five. Three twos trading at two. Getting ready to hit my profit target. One point five billion sell side is the MOC. There's my profit target, eighty-five percent. Here's my other profit target, 85%. Still have my one DTE in my challenge portfolio, which looks like it's going to be a little bit red. Unless we get a late bounce here. Wooga's at 38%. It's going to close here in about one minute. Uh, last I checked, my one-to-ones are performing better. Yeah, and they test a lot better as well. But I just like the idea of a little bit of diversification, if you want to call it that. Wooga's at 46%. Nice. Should be, yep, it's closing right now. 
So it didn't hit 50% profit target, but it looks like it's going to close for about 45%. Tranche one's at 85%, tranche two's at 67%, tranche three's at 61%. Anywhere between 60 and 75. Preferably closer to 75 would be nice for my one DTE. Quad 40 is getting ready to close for about a dollar profit. About 4%. Not in my challenge portfolio, no di no discretion. I've been doing some re-entries in my other account, which I'll use a little bit of discretion here and there, but yeah, it's just two minutes. All right, getting a little nice little bounce. Keep on coming. Let's just hug that expected move line at about 49.68. That'd be perfect. So it looks like my challenge portfolio is going to close down about 3.5% on the day. And then in my other account, I'm green. Shouldn't speak so soon. It's not over. Tranche three's still trading at two bucks. Tranche two's trading at a buck sixty. Tranche one at a buck ten. Five minutes to go. There goes my quad forty, booked about four percent. Sitting good as long as we don't do something stupid here in the last few minutes. My one DTEs are closing. Book 25% in one account and the other one is basically minus 5%. Vic's going to finish above 19. Vix, yeah, 
been a while since I had a tranche one, two, and three pin. Elliot, are you back on believing the down day train? You were a little sour on down days for a while. Of course, I assume one to ones would work today too. Trunch three is trading for 30 cents. Tranche two's at 10 cents, tranche one at 25 cents. <laughs> Atta boy. I like it. He's back. Nice. I did not, uh, that good anyway still fairly small for power hour one minute I think you owe down days an apology, and I think you owe Fridays an apology. After that day. Oh, gotcha. Well, that held up pretty true today then. All right, freeze, close, 20 seconds. Ding, ding. All right, so my power hour trade is good for about 6,700. Very nice. And then, um, yeah, challenge portfolio down, other account up. On a big down day, not too bad. Kind of wild price action. All right, all. Uh, let's see. Next week for the live streams. Monday, zero DTE live stream in the morning. Power hour all week. Chad's in for Mighty 90 and Runners, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then back for Zero DTE live stream in the morning on Friday. All right, all. Have a fantastic weekend. Take care. Talk to you soon. Peace.